Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How is it going, Tommy? It is going great, Chris. Veterans All Day right, is coming Tommy. up here soon. Right, right, on, I know, Veterans Day. Uh, so get out there and vote and um, do your thing and um, make those votes count. So um, we got some YouTube Celebrity Gossip News. Let's go to work and let's do this right now. So welcome back everyone. Basically, Tommy and I have a huge, 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 huge story, right Tommy? Oh yeah. What do you have for us? Okay, basically YouTube was in a big lawsuit with the FTC and basically they lost and it was over $107 million which they had to pay out for breaking this law that helps protect children from passing out the information to predators online and was recently upgraded in 2013 to include YouTube into that uh, realm. Along with this, there's some new rulings that are been put out by the FC. It's basically where you have to let people know that you are kid friendly or not kid friendly. That's where it says it gets simple and then it gets pretty confusing because there's stipulations like if the video has like a educational component to it or a section where it's like family activities or learning stuff then that counts as a kid directed video so it's not quite clear on what they really mean by kid directed and if you're going to be targeted or not targeted and this includes people who already have family channels and people who do not have family channels like me and Chris. This includes people who are thinking about starting family channels that might not want to start now with these stipulations, you know, getting demonetized because a lot of people make revenue through ads that are directly targeted to their audience. And so that's what this is, is the ads that were directed towards kids were not ads that should have been directed towards kids or should not be directed towards kids because that will get them wanting to buy that and go, oh, mom, dad, I need money for this. When the parents don't want them to have money, I mean, she's be spending money on these, these things. The question I have is why did YouTube get sued in the first place? Why are they dealing with the lawsuit? Why they deal with the lawsuit is because of in uh, 1983, Basically, there was a law passed that basically said internet cup, uh, sites cannot ask uh, kids under the age of 13 for personal information. This was adapted in 2013 to where it includes YouTube to not have targeted ads during kid uh, videos directed towards kids, you know, based on their personal, uh, you know, their what they watch you know say they watch a bunch of baby shark videos or they watch uh science videos they can't have personalized ads directed towards kids on there but youtube was still doing that youtube should have been a little bit more careful about that how they were how how they were going upon business like that because if they were doing kids ads and doing uh, you know you know if if there were ads on there as such as personal ads too they should have been a lot more careful that's where youtube got caught screwed up and so now they're having to pay the penalty so basically this goes into effect as of next year but there is a short window of time between now and then where you, me, anyone out there can voice their concerns to the FCC. the FCC. Yeah. So if you want to 
basically say, hey, you know, I do agree that we do need protection for kids out there, but we need to be clear, you know, on what is kid directed content and what is not kid directed content. So that's one thing that if you are someone who thinks that this is confusing, that they can clear up and you do believe that they need protections. So there's that element. But after this goes into effect, along with those few stipulations that like I said earlier about with it, you know, like being education, a little bit of educational or some element of it that is kid directed, but you or I may not think it is kid directed, but someone viewing it as an outsider go, oh, there's something in there that a kid might like. So this is now labeled as kid directed. So you get demonetized YouTube as well as YouTubers need to, you know, be made aware of what the actual law is and the rules are going forward. So we can have the best tools to help us, you know, give the best content out there and be safe and, uh, and still make ad revenue without breaking any laws. Kids are underneath the age of 13 that parents could, should be reading over those rules a lot more because, you know, you have to read on the fine line print, right? When you're signing yourself for social media, anything, um, you cannot have a profile under the age of 13 on Facebook. So same stipulation should apply from when you're getting on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, uh, etc., Instagram, that they should, parents should really go into that fine line of reading in between the dots so that they know what they're getting themselves into as well as far as, you know, what if a kid goes viral and what if a kid is really popular and basically, you know, a kid, you know, does make partnership and stuff as far as YouTube, well, those part and those parents know. The kid won't know really. They, I mean, today kids are pretty smart, but they don't really read the fine line print. What I'm saying is, is that parents and kids need to sit together, you know, and if they're gonna do ads to get themselves viral, basically they need to, and if they're gonna, you know, buy a lot more ads such as personal ads they need to be very careful of what they get themselves into and what they're reading as well so and along with this too uh in the new year you'll now have to be responsible for marking whether it's directed for kids content or not for kids content and not just any new videos uploaded but also all your old videos so you have to go through I over and some YouTubers out there may have over hundreds upon thousands of content hours to go through, you know, and that could take a long time. So to wrap it all up, make sure that going forward, you um, look on YouTube support page to find out any more further information about these changes uh, coming up. Make sure that you know that your content is kid friendly or not kid friendly and be safe because you could get penalized if you're not. And also, Tommy, you're forgetting one thing. When you go through the partnership program, it's, it's not only about the partnership program. There's videos that are in your YouTube toolbox, in your um, stuff to go through and make sure you're doing your videos the right way, make sure you're uploading music the right way, I'm sure to, to actually make sure that you're doing everything right to be on track with making a successful YouTube channel, right? There yes. are things on there. There are things on there that can actually help you out. Now, if you make partnership, don't forget there's stuff like training videos, um, and there's going to be things along the way that are going to test your knowledge as far as it's kind of like taking a test, but it's for your best interest only. All right. So, that's uh, what we have to say. That's all the stories that we have. I mean, Tommy will be live down in Texas. Well, Tommy will be, uh, you know, in the studio, right, Tommy? Yep. Right. So, so, and I'll be on location. So, um, anyways, we will see you guys later. And um, anything else, Tommy? 
uh, like the video, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.